We already talked about this a little bit in the preview. Florida State at Florida, and the Gators are a three-point favorite here. Total of 59. Uh, this is big. This is a bowl game for either team. And honestly, this is more for Florida State and what they're trying to build as a program under Mike Norvell as opposed to what Florida's doing while they're in the middle of a coaching search. <laughs> Billy Napier. I I look at this, and obviously all the numbers, not not all, but the majority of the numbers will point to Florida in this. But is there any real way to calculate the mistakes that this Gators team makes on a week-in and week-out basis? It, it They come at some of the most crippling times, and I don't know... I don't know what to make of their number 114 in turnover margin. They are putrid in penalty yards per game. The number 98 in penalties per game. Number 105 in defensive field position. Like, I I don't really know what to make of this team. I, I'm going to go Florida State just based on, like, I think this team has more to play for. But I, at the same time, I don't know. Some of these rivalry games, you never know how amped Florida is going to be now that Dan Mullen's gone, which is why we would never make this an official play on, on the Bet US show. But I'll, I'll take Florida <laughs> State here because I, I just think there's more to this team and the way that they've been playing lately, which, by the way, Jordan Travis has been looking awesome lately. Like, I don't, I don't have his numbers pulled up in front of me, but, like, he's actually figured out how to throw the football a little bit, and I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> like, he looks good. You get... You get a little room to breathe, man. That offensive line, it's how you, you got to build a program up, right? And and the offensive line has been a little bit better this year, and he has not had to run for his life. Um, they finally got their guys I, healthy. Like, once they got their guys healthy yeah. on the offensive line, they're good. Uh, overall on the season, their offensive adjusted sack rate is number 118. 118 out of 130. That's putrid. But once they got their guys healthy, I mean, they, they were at like 127 at one point a few weeks ago. So they, they've they moved up a little bit, but golly. Yeah, I, I look at this, and I, I'm I'm – I'm all over the Seminoles here, and I, maybe I'm I'm hurting myself on it, but I, I think that they're going to win this ball game. I, I agree. Just the motivation factor, like we talked about a little bit earlier. My numbers have this, like Florida four and a half, and I hate it. And I hate it. I don't <laughs> want to play it. Uh, one thing that really sticks out. Uh, I mean, Florida State has just been awful on third and fourth downs, and and Florida has been really really good on that. And then against the pass. Florida, really, really good pass defense. Florida State, really, really fine pass offense. I think the one thing that stands out for me, though, is uh, remember that LSU game where LSU just ran over Florida at the beginning of the end? What did they do? They ran counter, and Florida didn't know what to do. Florida could not stop a counter running attack. Guess what Florida State runs? Merely counter. They're very <laughs> explosive on counter runs. So throwing the numbers out the window, damn the spreadsheets. I'm taking Florida State in the upset. I like Norvell. We're we're going for it. Isn't that kind of what uh, what Tyler Beatty ran for uh, Missouri last week? Like they had not run a bunch of counters at all uh, all season, and they figured out this is how you beat this team. Cool. Like yeah. we'll just run a bunch yeah. of these. So <laughs> it's like they figured out the uh, the formula. Just run this one thing yeah. that Florida doesn't know how to defend, and uh, and they don't really have a defensive coordinator right now. So hell, why not? Why not? So we're both riding with Although the Seminoles. Is having is having no defensive coordinator worse than having Todd Grantham as your defensive coordinator? But the world may never know. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I don't. There, there hasn't been a big difference. I mean, it's not. No, it's not no, crazy. It's really not that different. <laughs> so we're both riding with Florida State on the upset. Yes, I, sir. I like that. I like that. Uh, Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.